So welcome. So this is uh, October 12th, uh, meeting of the District Advisory Board, pursuant of Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021. This meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner. Via Zoom under webinar ID 824-1448-3355. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted and public participation in any public hearing conducted during this meeting shall be by remote means only. So we have one attendee that has been here. So the first item is for public comment. And I want to honor our attendee. If interested in giving a public comment, please raise your hand. Yes, Mike, can you? promote? Yes, I can. So Jessica, um, you are here. Yeah, feel free to unmute yourself, Jessica. I did. Oh, there you go. We can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sticking. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I'm glad I did. Um, I, ju I just want to say, um, I have two comments, actually. One is on the most recent map that I saw. Um, it I live in District 1, and I would like, if at all possible, for all of North Amherst Center Village to be in Precinct 1, so that there is no um, visual indication for the future that it's okay to um, divide up the village center. Uh, the most recent map that I saw had the block of Harris, Fisher, North Pleasant and Pine Street added to precinct three, um, taken out of precinct one. And that's most of the uh, owner occupied housing in the North Amherst Village Center. Um, and I think that it's more appropriate to put it back in. Um, just, I know the people down in the, uh, Berkshire Terrace, Old Town Road area would love to be in Precinct 3 because they vote right across the street. So um, if you're looking for people to switch out of <laughs> Precinct 1 um, to even up the numbers, then that would be a place. Um, my second comment is that um, I hope that in 10 years we can get away from using uh, a base map that divides uh, or that counts up people by drawing lines down the center of their streets. Um, I find that very unfortunate because it means that um, people who you consider to be neighbors are not treated as your neighbor. Um, I think that if people live on one side of the street, the people they, on the opposite side of the street should be in the same interest group. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful that, and I just want to get this in there, that I request in the future um, that the base map uh, divide up by streets and not by sides of streets. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I see we're on. We yes. are on and we are recording, Sue, and we just had oh. a public comment by Jessica. So, Jessica, I just want to mention that um, we, uh, we the town, have no control over um, being able to draw district boundaries down the middle of streets. We have to follow very strict um, rules about what we can use as a boundary, and um, they have to be features that are visible um, or natural features like a a uh, river um, or in um, they can't be things like property lines so we couldn't like draw the 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 boundary as you know parcel boundaries or something like that um, because parcel boundaries change all the time um, so sure. we roads and there aren't enough rivers and streams in Amherst to kind of dry, di divide things that way so streets are kind of the streets railroads or those big power line cuts, um, which there's only one or two of those in town, are really the only things that we can follow in town. And we but don't you could, have a lot of control over that. But couldn't you, just using the example of the neighborhood that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. 
couldn't you say all of Harris Street is in precinct one and Pine Street is all in precinct three or something like that? No. Going part, from house numbers? So no, partially that so I'm gonna answer to, to the your comment also. That's why partially we included the corner into precinct three because for example, Harry Street was one side of the road was oh I know <laughs> precinct three and the other one in precinct one, and we felt that I think the whole of North Summers is in one district. Precincts at this moment are um, the identity of precincts are um, they don't serve any pur purpose except for where people vote. But the identity goes more for by districts because all the ones the the, the electors are by district, not by prison. In town meeting, yes, it was by prison, but now it's by district. Well, uh, that and in North Amherst, we even included the two village centers uh, that are in North Amherst in the same district. So the Cushman and um, and um, North Amherst village. Center is all in the same district. I, I saw that and I appreciate I appreciate that. It just it's visually the precinct map doesn't matter until it matters. Um, when we were in precincts before town council, we didn't think about you know precincts becoming districts, and now they have become districts. You know, adding together, and so it, it, it matters going forward what we set up as acceptable or not and i'm just i'm just putting it into the public record yeah. that not dividing up village centers is a bet is a good idea so thank you thanks um so we're back into the uh, attendees yes So, in um, I, I think we're going to have to change the order of the of the agenda. Um, I don't know if there's any announcement that we should is urgent that we should look into. If not, I would like to go into edit the report and approving the report. Tracy, you have any comment about that? So my suggestion would be for switching the order of the agenda would be to go to edit the report, to approve the report, whether there are changes, to look to see if we have to make any change in the map. Well, first I think we should have the map. Yes, Tracy. Yeah, no, I was gonna say. Um, I mean, I feel like if, if we review, I don't know if Peggy wants to send around like the latest version, but it seemed with the report that it was in pretty strong shape already. Yeah. And so, you know, if we basically, I mean, we're not changing our recommendations. You know, there was only one substantive area where I might suggest we change a little with the report. But I think because I think it would be great to show some of the maps that the great maps that Mike has made in the report as appendices. So perhaps we could um, focus on that and just make sure that we all agree on what maps will be in the report and if we do have to tweak any of the boundaries just to make that all clear now so that if we need to update any of the numbers in the report or in the presentation or anything we can just do that okay but it, it seems like most of the edits to the report would be pretty minor yeah i think in the i thought, I thought that's why one of the major issues is the numbers um okay so which map do you have in mind first the ones that they were suggested as per uh, cleaning the boundaries. Yeah, no, I think I just want to understand what we were changing, particularly if we're changing any of the census blocks that have population in them, but also just to make sure that they don't make the map look weird. OK, Mike, can you share the, the latest versions with the little changes? Yes, that is right here. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, can somebody you, had... can you make it larger? 
Oh, on the bottom is a big change. Yes. So the, the changes, Tracy, uh, well, everyone, were um, all of them were changes. Every change, my understanding, was suggested and implemented in this map because when people were trying to write the legal boundary descriptions, it was very, very, very difficult to um, describe what those boundaries follow um, in each of these cases. So the first case was down here around Hampshire College. Um, it was much more of a clean looking boundary, but as Peggy pointed out in an email last week, the boundary um, went something like this east to west with a little bit of a loop in there. Um, that census block boundary did not follow any natural or man-made boundary um, at all. So now, isn't that the bound is that boundary currently on the current district map or no? Yes, yes, it is so, very similar. So how is, did they describe it then? <laughs> well, anyway. well, um, oh, I see what you're saying. Um, I, I mean, not that it matters. This, really, I think but. this delineation is more close to what the current okay. boundary looks like. Um, so basically, Peggy moved some blocks here that don't affect any population. Um, there were no people in there, according to the census, and these now follow internal streets within the Hampshire College campus. That was one change. Another change, I believe. So was there, it I know, right? maybe could we just do we want to just agree on the changes one by one or? Yes. I, I mean, how many are there, Mike? There's three change. I would consider them three changes. Okay. Um, I think this one. I don't think there's any debate. This one has to be done because. I can't even believe that those things were actually, that's an actual census block boundary. Um, it should not be um, where that we were following previously. Um, oh, sure. So th that's there was fine. no way for Peggy to delineate that boundary using a description. Um, you know, I tried and the only way was measure certain amount of feet from somewhere. From town and, boundary yeah, to- Yeah, and then <laughs> and go another extra number of feet from nothing to nothing. So we know- Well, I mean, that's what, I mean, I found that I'll, I'll talk about the ones like precinct four and precinct 10 later, but I think the version that it looks like now, Mike, it looks a lot like the current, um, the Shape. current precinct map, yeah. Right, okay. yeah. I'm that's just exactly, looking at that at the same time, sure. Yeah, and that passed them, that's, that's a good point to make because that passed last <laughs> time. Um, sure. So, and then the second one was a change that Irina suggested up here. I think when somebody was writing the description between precinct two and precinct six, and it was just to move two of the railroad right of way um, um, shapes from one precinct into another so that the description would be able to just follow that railroad um, boundary cleanly. Um, okay, so let's see, like. So it's an, uh, so um, if you want, I can tell the, the. It was like right here, wasn't it? Arena? So Mike, is this the yes. new, ver is, is this the new version or the, yes, like. This is this is the, the new version. The corrected version. All right, let yes. me. Yeah. I'm, I was just pulling it up on the precinct map, like the map tool. I might be able to see if I have it. So you I wanted know. to know, I think I. I mean, that seems fine if it's just the railroad. Yeah, so it, it went between describing um, power line. Ah between it's very narrow you won't be able to see the difference see, it was between the power this, line and yeah. and the railroad but yeah. then if you were on the power line you had to cross through a non-named brook to somewhere to get to the railroad and then continue on the railroad so it was much cleaner to go along the railroad with population zero right so it was whether we put the zeros it's this issue of whether we put the zeros on one on the other and not checking before that there was a railroad that is easier to yes. describe. So on the on the right we have the map we approved last meeting, and on the right we have the new one. And if right oh, yeah, here very, it's very it's, clean, and right. right here there's like a little bit of a jog. So wait, is that that one with the nineteen? Because that nineteen no, the one, oh. the one with the nineteen will be the third one that we look at. All right. 
Okay. But it's 51, not 19. 19 voters, um, Irina, 51 people. Uh, 51, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was edit number two. And edit number three, um, if you look on the left is the new map and on the right is the old map, um, the, the map we approved last week. It's this little um, triangle, triangular piece. shape yeah. right here. That's that 51, okay. 51 people, 19 registered voters moved from precinct one into precinct three <laughs> again to make the I believe Arena that was to make the description easier to write, correct? Yes. But they are, it was along the street though, no? Was it not? No, no, it was a, on a secondary street. So it's a street uh, that converts on a, a service road. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so there was a, there's a kind of a road that converts into a service road. And what the state had sent us, uh, so the, on the, what the state went on the legal description, they just went up and down and it was like, oh yes, that should be there. Okay, but um, the service road, so we're changing it to the use that service road. No, no, we're changing it to use the main road, State Street and uh, Sun, uh, Sun Hill Road. Oh, okay. So the one on the, because you would keep that little peak. So which is the new one? I'm sorry. So the one on the left. The oh, one the on, one the, on left. the left is the new one? Oh yeah, okay. Yes, so now it's the, the border oh, that's, is um, to main street. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Okay, that means that that changes. Oh, let's see. So now, can you put, can you go down to population one yes. is three nine? Four two. Three nine. So. Four two and three, three. Eight, seven, eight, seven, seven, seven. Two. So potentially. So that so that one is changing from precinct three to precinct one, right? Okay. So, mm. so one is that? Thing, oh no, I'm sorry. It's changing from around. precinct. Yeah, sorry. It's changing from precinct one to precinct three. Okay. So right. one, one if and the numbers are still okay. Can't. Yes. So one, one thing that we could do is based on the input from the uh, the comments that we got is to transfer the corner of Pine Street, Meadow, North Pleasant, back to Princeton One. That's the one that we're talking about, the village center. So it balances the number. So we move into Princeton 3, 51, and we move out 43. I think we should do it both because we've now gotten a few comments so that yeah. it yes. also keeps that group of people in their current place. Yes. So it's less people that get moved. Yes. So, so we're talking about taking the boundary, this little square right here on right. the corner and yes. putting it into precinct one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't know enough about this, but are there, would that then, that, are there houses yeah. along here and along here that would now those people would be well, uh, no but no i mean it's, it's currently mike it's currently in like that. one so it's a commercial building that has apartments upstairs and this, i actually okay. think and i actually think this little road thing might actually be there's like a driveway back there no no they, that's a that's about oh. that's harry street oh, okay it goes around so right now it's like that that corner is in one precinct mm -hmm. and the rest of the solid block is in another precinct okay Okay, so um, should I make, we can make a motion to approve the map with the changes that this is the map that we are submitting? Second it. Okay, so Tracy, Safian? Yeah, that's fine. Irene Hovne, aye. Peggy Shannon? Aye. Um, Marlene Blastain? Aye. Mahe Gilani? Aye. Great, thank you. So we have our map, final, final, final. <laughs> so just two finals. So oh, surely we're going to be a third. Final, final. Later. Hopefully, <laughs> the, hopefully not. Okay. Um, so. So someone's going to, I'm going to work on that map. I'll have it first thing in the morning. Someone else is going to work on editing the boundary description to include that. So we're going to have to include the boundary description to include that. I can do that.
uh, to include that description. I the this is an announcement. The final version. I think I just sent around the final version of the boundary descriptions of all the other precincts. Um, so they are out there. Uh, it's on the. I think I sent and I gonna request the mic and so upload it or wait until I correct this one and we can upload it to sure. the TV. Okay. Uh, okay. Great. So we have the map. So now the numbers are gonna slightly change. So Mike, can you yeah. post the old one? Yes. So all we so, did right is we just changed that. So it's a net change of oh, eight. 43. No, because there's the 51 and the 43. No, no, but that also already computed in here. Correct. On this table, it's already computed. Okay, but we hadn't, no, but I'm saying from the last map. So Mike, when you sent me data before, did you, had you changed either of these? You sent me data right after the meeting. I'll look, I'll look at it. But if, yeah. because the numbers that I've been using were the ones from the data that you sent me. So then that's right. only a net population change of nine or something or eight, whatever. Yeah. But yes, I think, correct. Okay. So um, let's, so this goes into the uh, report editing and looking first, we should look at the maps that Tracy wanted. Peggy, you have a comment? Uh, yes, I just emailed everybody uh, the revised version of the report based on comments that I received today. Okay. And, uh, um, and there are the only significant changes, the most significant changes are in the um, characteristics of the map. There's a couple of added statements. Um, and also there's a a paragraph that the second paragraph in the process section is is fairly different. So okay, but I think um, before we get uh, to that point. Tracy wanted to see if we could look oh. at some maps to see to include it yeah, in the so report. So Mike had prepared, so a couple of maps that Mike and I had talked about. Um, one was, and a lot of these can go in the appendix. So he had created a new version of the population density map that Peggy has in the report currently. Yeah, and it's only there because somebody had put it in before me. So I- I mean, we could either put it in the appendix or we can, but he, so I had, I had just made a few suggestions to Mike with that map to make it a little cleaner. Okay. Um, including labeling some of the apartment complexes that weren't labeled before. Oh, look, he already did it. But, but not with our new approved boundaries or something, but what? Right, no, I did yeah, both. No. I did oh. both just to be safe. Yep. Oh, wow, you've done all. <laughs> okay, yeah, but then I, Mike, this one is gonna need to change now with the little corner on. I know. It's so just sorry. like it's just like dominoes. You're trying to get you're that. trying to get a hold of it. And I was like, I was trying to be so ahead of it and have yeah, everything ready. Sorry, to it, but nope. Gotta start all over. So I guess one question with this map is: Do we want to show it with um, the census? Uh, I'm sorry, with the districts and the precincts or not? Do we think it's good to have it that way or not? You know, honestly, I don't find this map all that useful. Um, and maybe, but I'm not saying we shouldn't include it, but it's just, it's it's dizzying and it's hard sure. to understand what it is that I'm looking at. Right. Um, so, so I tried, yeah, ahead. and I tried, um, the, I, the only way I think that map is gonna be in, very useful is to make it all one color, but then we would have to, we, when we tried doing that earlier, when the very beginning, when we first got the data, everybody wanted to see the breakout of classes in more detail. And then it, it having everything in one color or two colors, it became very difficult to tell the difference between things. So- Mike, Mike can you um, pull that back up? Sure. So, so the reason that we had, I mean, the, the thing I had liked about this map is that it visually displays how, and I added this um, 
text in the report, I think, and in the presentation is that I had calculated, I looked at all the on-campus housing and the on-campus housing contains 41% of Amherst population in 2% of the land area of Amherst. And so I had suggested that with this map, we maybe don't show precinct boundaries and districts because when they're proposed, but the main idea is that we just have this um, population that's not evenly distributed, that we have these super dense areas and we have the much less dense areas. Um, but if, I mean, if it's helpful, you could have fewer gradients because I think what there's like 10 or yeah. more yeah. right now. <laughs> That's what we wanted originally. So, I'll make it, I'll make it, I'll reduce it. Like five to, or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. And that will make it much more um, easier to understand. Um, I, um, and is it possible to, to do the colors in such a way that there? It, oh yeah. It's also yes. a gradient of some way. That's sort yeah, of the, the way you've done the demographic. Um, yes. Oh or, yeah, no, that's good. Okay. Or um, you know, this is a this is another map that we were going to talk about very shortly. This is this is density of voter registration. So the darker green is more people, the lighter green is less registered voters. So I can do you know ranges of colors in many different ways. And that was that was the original goal with that density map, but it just didn't make sense with you folks wanting to see so many different classes. Um, well, I think you know, on the original map, we just had a question because like Southwest, like hits that 2512 right. rock right. is so high. Mm -hmm. And I think your gradients like ended at like, I don't know, 500 plus or something Though right. we could go back to that. I mean, because in the report originally, we said that there were many, there were quite a few precincts that were over a thousand population. Mm -hmm. That's not actually true. I think there's only like maybe one or two in the, the majority. I mean, there's about 10 that are over 500. Right. But they're pretty much outliers since we have 423 blocks. So. Okay. I think we can, I don't think we can include all these maps in the report. Well, we can put them in the appendix. Um, I think it can be on the appendix, uh, but yeah, that will exactly. not be on the core of the report. No, absolutely. Uh, I think in the core of the report, I don't know if uh, people agree. I think. The population density, I think, is important to know where people are located. I don't know if I would put the, it might be helpful to have the boundaries of the persons as we are proposing them um, to give an indication. But I, I agree that the 10 or the so many colors might be dissing. Maybe one way to do it is um, have a kind of two scales um, mm -hmm. up to certain scale up to 1000 and 1000 plus. No, there's very few over a thousand, though. I guess I would yeah. make it little. There's two, or... right? There's like one or two over a thousand. One or well, there's a twenty-five, twelve, and there might be maybe one other, but there might be zero. Yeah. Um, In fact, I think it's there's only that's the only one over a thousand. I think. Um, oh, nine hundred. We can choose an uh, an arbitrary number and choose it after. You could say end. five. You could say five hundred or more. That would pull some. 500 or more has about 10. Okay. So can we just go back to the density map then? And we'll just- The dizzying like... map, make everyone sick. <laughs> yeah, that does okay. have a lot of colors, but um, can we, I mean, what if we just take the precincts? The idea was just to, you know, visually show that there's this disparity with the population. So I maybe we, should, we could- I think we should take the precincts and districts off. Yeah, I, so I, I really that's do. what I- that yeah, would that really clean sense. up the map a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Good. Okay. So I'll do that and, and I'll send it to who will be inserting this into the appendix? I believe it will be me. Okay. I'll send it to you. Okay. Is there any other? Uh, so the demographics, do we well, want to include it on the report? Yeah. And, and Mike, can you just put that in the packet too? And then I'll yes. put it in the presentation. Okay. Yes. All right. And um, this one is going to need the change on the. So if we don't have, so Mike, if you don't put the layers of the prison boundaries, then you don't need to change the, the prison boundaries on this one. It's just. Right, correct. Right. Okay. That's good. It all okay. ties together. Wherever, if I change it in one place, it's going to trickle down. Okay. Um, but it does mean I have to like hit the export. Yeah. Button so then could. Times, we, so. All right. So could we just talk about a couple of the other maps? So Mike showed me some race um, distribution maps. 
And those are the same ones that we talked about last time. So we will need to update those with the slightly changed precinct boundary. Um, so one question I had for people. So Mike used the same um, gradient on the legend. It looks pretty clean to me and it shows, you know, that we're keeping people together within the districts that we were setting up. I did have one suggestion about with these titles when we say total black or African American population for Amherst. So I suggested that we actually put the number there because um, some of these subset of race populations are actually pretty small, like even for the whole town, as in less than a thousand people or something. Um, so that would just, in case people aren't adding up the numbers by themselves or something, that would just be one data point. And um, so, so one question I had was that, so there is, so there's this map and then the gradients are the same and the colors on the, um, so Mike did one for all the different race populations and maybe we could just go through them because I think for some of the ones that have really small populations, maybe we just don't show those maps. I produced them all um, just again, to have them at our fingertips to use yeah. to, if we want to, um, which now means that we're changing that one block <laughs> to go back and produce them all right. over again. But you know, I, you know, I feel like we, if we have them all, I feel like we should use them all. And we, if we're yeah. putting one in the appendix, I feel like we should put them all in the appendix. Well, so I would put them, I mean, my suggestion would be to put the African-American population, the Hispanic population and the Asian population though, you know, the Asian population is interesting because some Asian subpopulations are, you know, more disenfranchised or, disadvantaged than others. So, I mean, Asian is such a large category, but we could show those all because those are the three subpopulations that have the highest numbers. Um, the one, and then Mike also produced because these are also categories in the census. So this is a question I had for the group is there's one for um, Native American population mm -hmm. and that number is really small for the whole town. So- Mary has had kind of yeah. yeah, is there a way that we can combine some of these categories? So should there be a map that just shows, shows population of color or BIPOC, however we want to characterize it, so we can include 100% of the population for whom we know race or ethnicity? And that would take care of the small numbers or, or have one that's other populations of color. So then it, we could be collapsing Native American, um, I don't know what, how we do mixed or multiple. And I know well, that Hispanic and Latino are, that's a, so there's citizenship and there's race. So yeah. there's Hispanic, non-Hispanic population. And some of those Hispanic will self-identify as white or black or African-American mm -hmm. or some other it's not, it's population. Not citizenship. It's like just Hispanic or Latino. I didn't say it was citizenship. I said race, ethnicity. I understand yeah. that, Tracy. Yeah, yeah I'm Latina. I'm considered Latina. Yeah. So, how do we how do we want to represent it? Because those people who don't fit neatly into one of those yeah. categories probably would want us to want to be represented in some way, shape, or form. So the people who are multi race, for any of the race boxes that they checked, they appear on those maps, Marilyn. So like, for example, if somebody identified as say African-American and white, mm -hmm. they would appear on, or say they identified as African-American and Asian, they would, their numbers would appear both on the African-American map and the Asian map. So is there a way of collapsing them? So it's multi-race, more than one race? I, 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 I guess we could, I guess, but in, my tendency would, would be to keep them separate. Personally. Or alternatively, we need to put a note on there saying that this is a duplicated count. Can we do white and non-white? I don't know if it, that would be okay. We can do white and non-white, but I think, you know, like certain groups, you know, would consider it important to be identified. I they know, don't want to just... as a secondary, so as a one map and then the other, then we can have uh, some examples of where 
but as a percentage, so if you wanted to include most of the population, have those the the as a main as a main document, and then the ones that you created as as examples of other as details. So like, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so one, for example, I don't want to include this other race category, other race one, because I also think that it includes people. Like as people are filling out the census, that if people are Hispanic, you know, and they're going through and they may identify as racially Hispanic, but the Census Bureau makes that, on the census, they make it a separate question. So this other race category, like people who aren't African American or Asian or, you know, Native Hawaiian and um, and American Indian, that they, I, I just feel like there's a lot of things that are lumped into here, in, including how people interpreted it when they're filling out the census, and in terms of identifying, you know, are these, who are the, who are these populations? I would tend not to show this map. So I think a lot depends on what the question is. How racially, ethnically diverse is the town of Amherst? And it would be nice to be able to show in some way, and we can define how we want to do it, th those people who are essentially, it would be the non-white population. Or, or we could have a map, we could have one map that shows white non-Hispanic population, if you want to show that. Well, I'd rather show it the other way. I mean, so or, it's or you, white. Have have, you have to show the percent, or how can you show the percentages? Or maybe that's in the context of the report that there are some numbers where you show the percentages, white, non-white or something. I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with divide, with putting yeah. all the people of color in a non-white category, just the language itself. No, I, think. I yeah, I'm no, not, that's why I, I was I'm not suggesting we use that language. All I'm saying is that, that that's my shorthand, but. Right. I understand that, but I still think racially think, and ethnically diverse is this town. And oftentimes people like one number, which I don't necessarily agree with, but to just identify the larger groups like you know, Hispanic, African American, um, Asian, and we know that's sort of a conglomerate of lots of different groups of people. Um, what what is that? I'm not sure what it says, and I'm not sure what the message should be. You know, we I talk about having some sort of diversity uh, or not watering, not diluting the diversity by assigning groups to precincts and districts. How do we demonstrate that we've we've accomplished that? Okay. Mahek has her hand up and then Peggy. Oh hi. Yeah, I would just like to add in because I'm an Asian woman myself. I think. Um, I think that distinction is extremely essential because just because of how diverse the whole Asian population is, um, statistically, we can see that uh, certain groups of Asian people are also more advantaged when it comes to income levels or when it comes to just how they're doing in general as compared to others. So it isn't as homogeneous as you consider Hispanic population to be. Um, so I think it would be nice if we could add that distinction, but I completely understand if we cannot, because just, just because of simplicity's sake, it would be okay, I guess, but, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Peggy, and then Tracy. Um, I think that we should present the data as people self-identified in the census. I don't think that we should be, um, putting groups together because we don't really know how people would feel about that. So people self-identified as black or African-American, they self-identified as Hispanic or Latina, Latinx, they self-identified as Asian. Yes, is there problems with the data? Of course, lots of different problems, but what we're given is the data from the census. I think that's what we present. So how do we represent those small groups like the Native and Hawaii and other Pacific Island and those other the, populations. So we either include the map with the small group and, and make it clear that this is a very small number of people, or we don't include the map and we say we've included the three largest populations as they self-identified. Have we included everybody? No, we haven't. We know that, but we want so to make it. 
Is we want to make it clear to people what what's important here is we're trying not to dilute minority voting strength. That's that is a mandate from the state. How do we do that? Well, we need to be able to identify where there are neighborhoods of strength. So is there a table where you show the actual numbers and percent so that you're incorporating those very small groups just to we, say, we, yes, we can. We I mean, we can have a table with the. Um, with the numbers and percent. And so what I had suggested with Mike on in the map is where it says total, you know, Native American, other Pacific Islander population. I mean, we could have a number there that would be, I don't know, I think it's probably in the hundreds and that would identify like that whole population. I mean, if you look up, it's very small. Like this is one map uh, to Peggy's point. I mean, I was suggesting that we would have the three largest groups and we could have a table that shows the other groups too. Mm -hmm. Part part of the reason I saw for seeing this map is, as Peggy was describing, that when you have the voting precincts, or sorry, the you know the voting districts, that you want to make sure that you're not splitting up these populations and communities, and that you are, to the extent possible, creating a minority majority type district, so that they feel like they have a voice. And and I felt that way with the African American map, for example. You know that it seems like the African American census block, the ones that have the highest number of African Americans, are showing that. Um, I don't feel that. I mean, the Asian category is really complicated, and unfortunately, we don't have at some point the census data gets released that shows, you know, by country and and so on. But we don't have that level of data, and Asian is a huge category. But it is what it is. I mean, we can only show what we have, and. Um, and I would not show that other race category because it's just, it seems, they're just, I mean, I know that people self-identified as other race, but we don't know what that means. So I think it's, okay. it, look, it seems too complicated to me. So I Mike would keep our map simple. Mike's has I'm, I'm not suggesting we do it on the map. I'm just suggesting that there be yeah. some tabular data showing it. We, can, we can have a little bit of tabular data for sure, so, definitely. So Mike has his hand up. Mm. Yeah, I was I was just gonna say, uh, in my opinion. Um, I'm not a voting member, but I would I would feel most comfortable if we included all of these race maps in the uh, the uh, appendix. Um, just like what Peggy mentioned, you know, somebody identified as Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander. Um, there might not be very many of them in town, but let's 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 show them, you know as equally as we show the dense population of Asian people in town. Um, and I, I just think that's the fairest way to display everyone. Um, other race is confusing. Um, I, I honestly, I say we include it. And, you know, maybe what we do is between now and then we go back and we look at that. It's, it's the, um, the metadata uh, that the Census Bureau uh, provided us when they um, when we first received the data, and maybe we grab a description of what other race, what they define other race as, or the question that they ask, and maybe we can populate on that on here because we have a lot of questions about it too. But it is something that's recorded in the data, and it does differentiate some groups of people from the other, and it does add up. It is what gets us to 39,263 people in town are some people in this group. So I, it's my personal opinion that we should include all of them. If we're including one or two of them, I think we should add them all. So. So, the, so then Mike, I think like one thing with Hispanic, the Hispanic category, right? Because mm -hmm. people can identify as Hispanic or non-Hispanic and then also be of any race. Mm -hmm. So we would need to, so that would be the only place. No, I guess, I mean, we might need to have maybe some language on the maps to just say that people could be in multiple categories or something. Yep. Which is actually, that's not just for Hispanic, uh, that's okay. just in general. Okay, so just for um, um, for clarity, I'm hearing that people want to see all these maps there, but with a caveat note uh, saying, we have to find a text to describe other race. And uh, the question I have is, do we have time by tomorrow to do it? Um, 
because we need to submit the report tomorrow. Right. Um, so the debate here is whether we inc include, maybe we should have had these discussions early, earlier. Um, <laughs> um, the question I have for everybody is if people would feel okay um, I don't know if we can have time to go into the, I mean, so the race I, or just put a description that we have a good description for the the first four maps or uh, and then it's as people describe on the on the census as other race and more information right. can be found on the census data. But uh, right. just for just for I'm trying to figure out whether by tomorrow we can come up with a good description for this map. Or we go with Peggy, like saying this the top three, and that's it. I mean, I mean, to Mike's point, we could just put them all in, and then also people wouldn't feel like they're left out. Um, we don't need to. Yeah. We don't necessarily. We don't need to necessarily discuss them all in the report. And I'm happy to put together a table of all the numbers. Um, okay. Let's and then that. Mike, and Mike, you were gonna on the map. Can you just put the total at the top? Yeah, absolutely. And then that's. And then we'll just have that number two, right? And absolutely. Then, and we'll just have a note on the table that just says, you know, people can be in multiple categories. I and think that, that is, and that is all self-identified data. So that can be uh, at the opening of the appendix, uh, supplemental materials, supplemental maps with um, some demographics, and it can be people identified, can be identified, can be representing multiple of these maps depending how they represent themselves or the census. But I think that that, I mean, we can put the maps themselves in the appendix, but we might want to have just a sentence or two of te in the text because that was one of the reasons that we were doing some of the boundaries the way we did. Like, I know that Peggy had spent a lot of time looking at the race data. Yeah, I agree that balance, there has so. to be a comment on, on, yeah. the, on, the, on the report, but uh, as an opening, of, what I was saying, as an opening of the appendix, there's a, appendix C or D. Mm -hmm. Three lines describing what are the maps, and then we put them up the format. Okay, that's fine. I can provide that description. Okay, thanks. Marley has your hand up. Yeah, muted. muted. Yeah, muted. No. You're muted, Marilyn. So, on the census, I'm not familiar with the categories in the US Census. Are there, I'm seeing some other race. Is that how they just check other? And do they have to describe what other is? Mm -hmm. They just check other, there are other census questions that deal like with country of origin and things. And that's the data that isn't released yet. So we can't fill in those pieces. And maybe, so you are highlighting the other race. So who's it highlighting? Right. Mike? That's, that's Mike me. is highlighting yep. it. I found it while we were chatting. Yep. Right. No. Okay. So maybe that's the what it has to be included on right. the and we will put that in the appendix. Yes. Okay. Good. And so, we can also have a web, you know, a hyperlink to the actual like report the, the data dictionary thing. Okay. So we have the maps now to the core of the report. Somebody else want to share the core of the report? So can so we had that last map. Do we want to show a map with the voters, voter um, spatially, or no? So Mike, the, Mike, Mike pulled that one up with the green. I'm I'm concerned. I think that can be go for the presentation, but the this is something that we looked, and the question is whether we include it or not because the task is for the. The AB is to look at is at the residents, right? We went beyond and look at registered voters because of the nature of the town. That is not a it's not a, it's a college town, so we have a, a, a different dynamics that most towns have. So we went and look into the uh, the voter registration, but the. The DIB is supposed to look at um, messages. So the question is whether probably it should be there because we used 
the information to create our well, maps. I and think. our and our report isn't going to the state, right? Okay. Our report, I mean, all that's going to the state is the map and the legal descriptions and the other requirements. This map yeah. is for the council. Okay. So I'm a, I'm for including because that has guided some of our principles and some of our boundaries and how we made the decision. So I think it's important to include it. I don't know if people do we want to include it in the center of the report or as an appendix? No. Appendix? Appendix. Okay. An appendix. Yeah. Solved. Okay, thank Solved. you. Um, Peggy, since you have the, the report, do you want? I, it would be much easier for me not to share it. Um, okay. So if somebody else could do it, long story. <laughs> can somebody share it? Also, I don't have it. Yeah, I can. Hold, I, let me find it. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. While Tracy gets it, I'm noting noticing that we don't have anybody taking minutes. Is that oh, um, can we do that from the recording? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I was gonna say, I don't know if you want to re rely on that. Did you? Ooh, you know what? <laughs> I I wonder when I came in and you guys started. I wondered. I said, uh, yeah. I wonder if they decided who's taking minutes. But I've been writing things down so. Thank so you. Sue, Sue has minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they can they can be sparse minutes, right? They're going to be very sparse minutes. At some point, we're going to have to meet to approve all the minutes right, so we have yeah. a backlog. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so here's our report. I mean, Peggy, do you want to speak to anything that you were editing? Yes. Yeah, so the, the here's the here are the couple. There are, so there are a number of typos. Thank you, everybody, for those and and little grammatical things. Um, Tracy had made a more su substantial change in the process. Um, so I, I can go down to okay. Um, there, that that second paragraph there. So if people want to read that over. So, um, uh, and I actually had a question too on the first paragraph. It says the U.S. Census Bureau divides the town into census blocks, which are bounded by street center lines, railroad tracks, power lines, and bodies of water. That's not the only boundaries. Because I know, I know in the, like with precinct four and precinct 10, which I mean, I could also pull that, but those maps so, literally are like these little jagged lines, so which I don't Tracy, even know how they were drawn. If you put them mainly there, it solves the issue. Okay. Or I'll princi <laughs> mainly or principal. I, I'll, I'll edit it right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because. I mean, they were completely arbitrary how those lines zigzagged through the dorms. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the um, so the only thing I I mean the thing I had added with um, paragraph two is I did want to and maybe this wasn't the right place because I did really like how Peggy had described that like a fundamental difficulty with the districting is the that you have you know the certain population and the population density and then you also have the fact that so much of our population aren't voters. So um, so the reason I had changed that paragraph was just to insert the information about how 41% of Amherst population resides in just 2% of the geographic area, because that was also in the 2011 GAB report, and it does speak to how challenging it is to do this. Um, but. So if anybody had any comments on that, and I also did change it here about how there's several census blocks in the 500 and above range because there really weren't that many in the thousand range. Do people think it's okay? So I like the, I like the changes you made. Although I might prefer to go back to the first sentence, making it clear that really the problem is there's right. no, I very agree. dense places with very few voters. But I can fool with that. Okay. And keep I mean, I didn't know how to kind of insert that data heavy sentence with, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. okay. Um, okay. So okay. there's that. And then the other, I think, um, so I think we, we're going to take this map out. Is that correct? Yes. Because now we're going to put or, or all did, the maps. Did you, you, did you say you wanted to keep density in the main report, Rene, and then or put it in the appendix? I usually, every now and then, I like to have an image so that to 
to make an impact, but I don't know if the people are going to get distracted by having an image. Um, Maybe in the main body of the report, could we just put the actual census map? Maybe we could do it that way or something like that's it is eligible the the one with the oh. with the, the numbers one. yeah no the orange one it's gonna be completely uneligible so i'm i'm okay if we put all the maps at the back and we make a reference to appendix b map three okay um, if i were to put a map in the report would it be the the, map that, the one that we are proposing yeah okay so the, the population the, density no, the district, um, the district. The precincts. The precinct and the district map. Oh, the one we're proposing, got it. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. So that so that it's clear. And yep. then at the back, we put all the maps and then we can make reference here, appendix C, okay. uh, map one uh, population. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, this, this number of 35 scenarios, did we really look at 35 scenarios? I made 35 like maps. I made 35 maps. <laughs> and you weren't counting, and Mike wasn't counting the big and the little. So if you count to that we had done the 15 precincts and districts, and then we also did, even of the 10, we had at least 20. Because like we would tweak them, right? We had at least like map one, had at least like, I don't know, we said five versions, but it was probably like seven or eight versions, including the now, the final, final, and the less final, and then... We had the map three and we had map two. Okay, so we, we had a lot. By the letter of the law, we had a lot. How many did we have by the spirit of the law? I mean, I, I wanna get, I I only want, I don't want people to feel like we had, if you spread them uh, out on the table, there were really 35 okay. kind of distinct maps. 20? I don't know. Mike, what, what you were making the maps. I, <laughs> I'll have to go back and look. Um, okay. I don't, I don't want to give you more work. Um, Why don't we just say like over, I mean, it was at least, because Irene did like three, mm -hmm. We and we did the 15 maps too. I would say at least like 15 to 20. Okay. That were distinctly okay. different and not mm -hmm. just like tiny edits or something. Could we say like, a, you know, you know, over... Over I, I would keep just calling it maps rather than scenarios because some of these we didn't we just dismissed out of maps region. over 20 you know we could say different you know distinct maps or something oh no maps of possible yeah different over different, 20 maps that sounds good different precincts and were created using the precinct builder map tool and I'm not sure if we say precinct slash district pairings because oh, but the, 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 part of it was looking at different pairings right. of precincts within districts. Yeah. It was yeah. still the same information, but looking and, at the And I don't think we don't need to say this using the precinct building map tool, do we? Because that was no. like because Mike no. is internally doing all the okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And then that's this is this is such a strong report, I think. And then um the other <laughs> changes um okay still waiting on a number for the variance so i'll have to see when mike runs the and final map i can put that number in i think if we need to i mean clarify what variance is and i i noticed that on, on the table but people i had difficulty looking at variance and saying is this a percentage is this a number what does it really mean it's sort of a very broad term and I think we're using it very specifically in some cases, maybe not here, but in, in other instances. It's so, the way the state defines it, I think too, because. So, but readers don't know how the state defines it. So either we need a definition of variance or uh, we need to describe uh, it a little bit. Because variance like statistics, in statistics, it's not the way the state is using it to me. Right, it's true. Like, because this is actually a percentage that they yeah. turn into a whole number by multiplying it by a hundred. So it's how it varies from the mean with, instead of having a percentage, you turn it into a number. So maybe it's like variation from the mean or something. So it's a little yeah. more specific. Yeah. Okay, or deviation from the or deviation, deviation from the mean or deviation from the average? 
something like that. It depends where if you are, yes, if you use the average. I mean, Mike explained how he calculated it, but it is it is different than if you were a statistics person. Right. Yeah, I think we don't want to yeah. use variance because the state is not using using it quite right. Um, so tell me what we want to use because I need to put that I need to title that column on the map that we produce and, and um, give to the council. So what? Um, and you need to call it variance, even though the state is using. I don't it think so. I don't. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. So, so it's actually a distance from the average, right? Difference from the mean. Yeah. But it's like but it's, 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 it's like it's, a percentage that's multiplied by a hundred. <laughs> so that's why. Well, it's, you could describe it as a number of points. So if it's ten points, that's say... percent, right? Right. Um, yeah, so can you say you something mean. like percent difference from the mean? I don't think that's quite right, though. That is that is basically it. Yeah. That's what that it is, is. That is correct. Yeah, percent difference from is. difference from the mean or percent difference from the average? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's wordy. That is, that's but... a... Well, you can make a little percent symbol, percent difference from the mean. Yeah. Or maybe it's just a footnote, but you, I think you should put percent in, in the if, if it's a table, right. it's a percent. I agree. Okay, so percent difference from the mean or percent difference from the average, whatever fits better at the column top, Mike. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. working on that right now. Excellent. Okay, so there's that. Um, so points two and three were not changed. Um, I, I, they have the numbers, which of course now are a little bit wrong, but they're pretty close. I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so the fourth and fifth points were added. So, so I had a question about um, the third, the third bullet is just where it said 81% of residents precincts remain the same. So the thing is that the precincts, I, I know I right. changed it and you had kept it, but to me, it's like, because the precinct, like all of the precinct boundaries changed. Yep. You're right. And you're so right. The, that's the why I wanted to, so I wanted, yeah, well, so I wanted to just say like 81% of residents remained in the same precincts. And yeah, you're absolutely right. That's okay. much better. I will fix that. Oh, did not, I did. I did change the language now, but anyway. Well, uh, yeah, this is your this is your language, but I think it's still. It's a, no, it's, I think I had tried to anyway because I was okay. trying to make it not possessive because it wasn't. I, okay. I I want to make it clear. So, for example, in item. One, two, three, four. The proposed map changes in pairing of some persons from the 2017. Uh, when was the pairing done by the charter? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a good point. From yeah. the current map. Okay. And the, the, sorry, and the districts created in well so they first took effect in 2018 right yep. that first took effect three years ago with mm -hmm. the you know adoption of the charter uh, home rule charter in 2018 and then the for example is no longer parent i think we have to be um I like numbers. Okay. Um, so, because of population changes, I think how the pair will had been the same. I think it was over thirty nine percent of the voters would be in one district, active voters. Right. Mm -hmm. Because if not in here, well, it's a leave it. It's a leave it. To decrease the different enfranchisement of voters in prison seven, it was um, it's a little bit cryptic, and if somebody knows what we are talking about, uh, I so I think so. Or is so on the second bullet it says the student dormitory populations and active voters are distributed as evenly as possible, but I think the student the student population and the active voters are two different things. Yes. Right. And so we could have a separate bullet for that because the active voters is part of why we separated seven yeah. from eight. I think we should put two bullets there. Okay. So those are two bullets, but then we actually want to connect the um, active voters one to the map changes. 
Yeah, so and maybe right. put put the the other bullet about the the uh, the registered voters before okay. this other one before the pairing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then and then add your line. Had the pairing been the same, nearly forty percent of the voters would have been in one district. Yes, active voters would be active yeah. registered voters would have been in one district. So we have to. Sorry, so. Don't worry about the formatting. I no, I know, of course. So the proposed, uh, so, oh, so we could just, so, well, do we want the bullet with the voters in this or? I think be. Well, because I, I think you want to, I think you want to separate and you want to say yeah. active voters, the proposed map redistributes some active voters, active voters. As evenly as possible. More evenly. So Tracy, I was just saying, replacing the copying the phrase from two. Changing yeah, I'll student do, I'll do to. That. I just changed that. See the student dorm populations. I. Okay. I changed it already. Okay. okay. Or something. So I do. So one thing is, you know, I was looking today at the data. Um, I'm going to stop screen sharing for a moment, but I was so, look, go ahead. Yeah. But I was looking today at the data about um, just, you know, one in preparation because I was going to talk to district three um, at the district three meeting, but then also just to show like where where the numbers actually changed. And I had, I added something to a slide. Um, so there is quite a bit of story about, you know, it may be too much detail to put in our presentation, but just in terms of where the numbers were actually changing and where they weren't. Um, and I'll, um, I'm just gonna pull it up briefly because it's a little more complicated. One, I didn't wanna focus just on precinct seven and precincts, um, precinct yes. seven and, pre and precinct eight, yes? No, I think most of the prison, we had to change all the prison. So the, I think the message, I think we have to make sure that the message is all prisons had to change. No, but they didn't. <laughs> That's most, the thing. No, nine, nine out of eight, eight out of the 10, they had their own population. Right? Well, I'll, show, or, I'll show you. I mean, when I was actually looking at the numbers in terms of what changed and what didn't, that was um, the table that Mike had produced early in the or the well and well so but um I was actually looking at it by where to go. By the way, folks, I just published the um I just made that update to the map and published it. So it's now in today's meeting packet. Okay, so I'm just sharing on can you can see the presentation? So I was actually just going through the numbers. So this was based on based on the current precincts, how how many um, oh, this was with voters, but how many voters were changed in each but, precinct? No, and, but Tracy, and how many voters were changed in each district? Okay, but the issue is, I think the, the what we have to transmit is the precincts had to change. Oh yeah, of course. Then the, the precincts because they didn't satisfy the numbers. The right? precincts had to change because some were too high. Yes, some were too high, some were too low. Right, of course, yes. So the precincts had to change. Once yes. you start changing the precincts with a with a non-uniform distribution, right. Right. boundaries change. No, of course. Yeah. Once the boundaries change, oh, I'll just stop. because of non-uniform distribution of voters of uh, residents, once the boundary change because non voter the the non-uniform distribution, it's not that we can just move one line from here to there and then mm -hmm. that's it. It's not that people move from this precinct to this precinct, so we just slide the line, right? Yeah. And yeah, can, so, and, and I would suggest we move the student population down a little now, but okay. just because it doesn't seem like the most important okay. factor, but the, um, no, I agree with you, but why don't, okay. so. Can you share the document again? Oh, sorry, yeah. I think that I don't know if that information we have provided somewhere. I think originally with the WASA table, um, with the current, with the 20, 
10 or 2011 boundaries, mm -hmm. the numbers, the we cannot keep the prisons right have to change well, yeah we can um yeah we have a bullet for that we could add that and that's something that they're gonna ask us right we know we should do that so um i'm confused what are we so, so i think what so, she's saying is she was saying that all precincts have less you know some some of the precincts boundaries because they were over the, the They did not satisfy the requirement. Were over 4,000. No, it's, Tracy, it's over and under. They did not satisfy the requirements by the state of, of the precincts the as the current precincts because the Right. Don't call don't call them current. It's the twenty eleven. Right, <laughs> so this this strikes me as something that needs to be in the body of the report. It's not a characteristic of the proposed map, right? Yeah. I mean, we can put this early on that just right. Okay. That, that with the population changes, there right. was no uh, there was no choice. We had to change. Yeah. The precincts. Okay. So I will that, add a statement to that effect. Well, and I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I, I mean, you could even you could even put this under the criteria that we knew we had to change, right? Or something in this section. Well, we're yeah, I, I think I think I'll put it in the population of Amherst. We get the okay. we got the data mm -hmm. from sure. we got the data from the census and it became clear. So yeah. we can also just say, you know, updated um population was to Populate a uh, precinct population didn't meet requirements. Precinct yep. population didn't meet state requirements. Now, without changing boundaries, something like that. <laughs> right? Is that what we were trying to say? No? Yes. Either by changing too big or. That, that, that's as clear. Mm -hmm. And did we? Oh, right. So, so actually, I mean, it says right here. I mean, we could even put it up here, but you know, under Mass General Law, no precinct can have that. And so, okay, but now that the bottom is yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. That's the justification for the whole process. Okay. So just so just to the point about the characteristics of the proposed map that the I mean, we did repair the districts. I mean, we. Not, and it wasn't just seven and eight. So I didn't know whether we want to make points about those. And that's why I just showed that other graphic. Hey, we have an issue. We lost she, my heck. I just realized. Oh, she's gone. What? Yep, she's gone. I just realized. I saw her. Yep. OK. So we're OK. Let me. I'll reach out to her and see what happened. She can just be logged in. She could. I don't know. I, I let me look at the her phone number. Um, Did we ever hear from Joseph? No. No. Sorry. There's a call in listener too, but I don't know that number. It's an, it's not Joseph's last four digits. That's for sure. Uh, maybe it's my head. Can you check? I, I let me uh, let me um, let me tell last you. Last four digits five eight oh. eight nine. One second, I need to find the um, the document. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is Mahek. Is okay. it? Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> let All me right, put good. her in here. Thank you. Okay. All right. Phew. Mahek. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah, we are it, back it, in the it, meeting it, it is getting late though so we should yeah, yeah. we gotta wrap up i think so, we're, yeah. we're really close on the report no, so very guess, close so i guess um just with the well, let's go back can you share again the yeah i will share again but i guess just i mean the question i asked is do we want to have a bullet about why we changed some of the other precinct pairs too or do we just want to cover it generally well, clearly, so that, if, we, if we changed one, we might, must must have changed another. So then no, in the same bullet, 
similarly, blah, blah, precinct, whatever. And, you know, um, right. Well, change. So, so for example, yeah, I mean, the proposed map. Um, yeah, that, I mean, we could even include some of this under the bullet about the proposed map. Well, those I mean, like so the other, under the that. other ones that we changed were precinct four is now paired. So I have a I have an issue with calling precinct. So things change and boundaries change. So it's precinct. We are calling the precinct four. Is it similarly enough to precinct four of twenty eleven that we can still yes. call it precinct? Okay. Well, I think I had calculated, hold on. Um, it's okay. The, for the presentation, they were 80% um, are the same. Okay, good. Okay. Is that okay. right? Um, okay, yes. so I will add, add a line similarly, da da da, da. Okay, and last that, the last thing we have so to talk about. Precinct five is now paired with precinct eight, whatever. Okay, and, then, and, and you can, if you've already stated that precinct four and seven are paired in that first bullet. Right, yeah, yeah. So I'm just yeah. trying, I'm just trying to get it down. Okay. Okay. Any other? Yes, the last bullet point. This is important. I mean, people need to weigh in on this. Okay. Oh, the neighborhoods. As are not I, isolated in an otherwise overwhelming white district as as much as possible i think we don't we didn't do a perfect job but i think it's true, it's true. as much as I, I don't know if we should add as much as possible because there are some here and there little well, pockets can, that we couldn't right but i think that those two population groups are pretty well as much as possible okay let's just... we right. did our best but uh, not always we could satisfy all the requirements yeah. That's okay. fine. It's just, yeah. Now okay. I have a question. I think the the fact that the state needs to receive on October thirtieth. I don't know if whether we have to put it up front on the report. And so, not, so the fact the state needs to have the final vote on the map by October 30th. If not, they take over and they make out their own map. That's my understanding. This is true. Hmm. Right? I mean, so I think that has to be, I think it's sufficiently important because if we they, they, we receive a comment that we need to do 15 or 20 changes that are completely different, um, it's considering it's October, we won't hear until like October 18th. This comes into another topic. Uh, well, I wanted to make sure that it's clear what's at stake at can, this can, moment. Can we have a summary paragraph at the front? Maybe, I mean, we do have this all this narrative, but could we just have a summary, you know, that we met and we created all these different maps and like it needs to all be finished and it's very complicated too. I mean, we don't really discuss in here how hard it is to like, play with the numbers like i know you, you, we do in the presentation i just i don't know what do people think if we just sort of like an abstract of what we're saying because it's five pages long would we want to just have something very short sure or just or just dive into the report i don't i mean it's just a but that's yeah, where we that's could stress summary, what, summary is always a good idea. That's what we could stress what Irene said is like we've looked at a lot of options and it's very like anytime you make any change, it necessitates all these other changes and or something. Okay. okay. So so okay, we can talk. Um okay. Okay. So all right, and then so then we said we're putting some of these different maps in the appendix. Now, do we okay. feel like we have to put the current um, uh, precinct and district map, the one that's presently enacted, do we need to put that in the appendix too? I think we should include it because okay. people for completeness. No, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And this one's gonna slightly change. All right, we're not gonna call this variance. We're gonna... Oh, right, we need to change these numbers slightly. Okay, I did, I updated these with, with Tracy's numbers. 
So it's uh, 10,178. Oh, they'll change because we just changed the map. That's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. we just changed it by the tiniest amount. Yeah. So okay. I can send you like the the columns that changed. Wait, it's tiny. the proposed princess. Wait, we have a problem. The map. This is three nine nine three, right? Hmm. It's the number, right? Because I I thought it was not three nine nine three. Oh wait, because that then just... we. It just went over, is that what you're saying? If we change that block, it would go over. I thought it was three nine fours. Um it's three my... nine eight it's three nine eight five as of the most uh we're looking at what? Uh, the proposed precinct one precinct yeah. one yeah. is now at three nine eight five three nine eight five with the change with yes. all of the changes that we've made okay, okay. Uh, oh, so then what's precinct three then because that changed. precinct three is three eight three four right. <laughs> mike okay. do you have the variance on this <coughs> i am not a wizard not yet okay. <laughs> I'll, all right. I'll get that very like a wizard to me actually <laughs> all right so we oh, so I guess we just want to double check. Like we'll just want to yep. double check the numbers. If you give me, if you then... give me like thirty seconds, I'll have it. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> that sounds like a wizard to me. It does. <laughs> I have a ridiculous spreadsheet that I've been. I have all the different <laughs> tabs for all the different variations of every map that we've made. All right. So, so I just um okay. highlighted just those. a second. Right. So I just have a comment on current districts. That's based on the 2021 population, but on the um, 2011. 2011. So does there yeah. need to be a note saying yeah, what Yeah, maybe is? we should say. Yeah. OK. I would say current districts. I would say 20, 2020 population. I'm sorry. But current, I would call it 2017 map. and 20 2018. It passed in 2018 now. OK. And uh, uh, on top is 2011 precincts. That's going to confuse people, but because the 2011 precincts map into districts, and even though it was 2018, <laughs> the numbers don't change between those two points in time. Yeah, but they don't change. That that's how oh. the law works, right? We don't. We cannot. The precincts are set by the census. The charter set the districts based on. But it's based on 20, it's based on the 2010 census. So maybe. Okay, 2010. If you want to say 2010, that's. Lovely. And the districts, it could be maybe just a footnote saying it was done in 2018, but it's still based on the 2010 population. Okay. That's all. It just gets, I mean, it's confusing as it is, but to see 2018 jump out at you and if people don't understand that we, we created districts in 2018, it's just. A little what mind boggling. I I have the variance. Do we want do you want me to tell read it off to you right now? No. <laughs> send, oh, okay. send it so we can like paste it in or whatever. Okay. 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 So as next steps, I can suggest a motion, but I would to approve pending changes and also allow maybe a working group to help uh, Peggy. Uh, to finalize the report pending the changes or um, so, so I I second that. Okay. Um Marilyn Lundstein? Yes. Peggy Shannon? Aye. Irene Hovne? Aye. Uh, Tracy Safian? Aye. Uh, Mahek Gelani. She is muted. muted. Yeah, I think it's okay. Can raise her hand. Can you if... raise your hand? Do you know how to raise the hand on the phone? Um, if... I think it's um star nine. Stay, can you hear me? There, yes, yeah. we can hear you. I okay. Sorry, thank you. Thank. Okay. 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 Great. So the motion passes, and um, I can offer uh. 
to be part of the working group tomorrow morning, working on finalizing the report. Excellent. Okay. So we, can, we can arrange afterwards uh, how to yep. meet. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yay. Yeah. So, so hold on, hold on. So 7.30 tomorrow morning, I'm going to cancel that? Yes. That okay. Means, okay, We're so gonna... for the presentation, do we want to wait, have a wait, wait, Tracy, wait one second yeah. before getting into the presentation. All right. Uh, we have, so we have this, we're going to send them a report and Sue is going to send us the the vote that they has to be added so that for the town. Yes, I can do that. Okay. Now the presentation, we should create a working group. Yes. To work on the presentation. Yes. Um, everybody's in favor of having a working group working on presentation or any objection or to work? No. I hear no objection. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have a working group working on the presentation to be done at the town uh, council on the 18th. Does it have the same timeline as the report? That because the report is tomorrow, so we have some more days. Now, for the town council, do we? One, I'm going to request that we call for a meeting um, in case we have quorum, if everybody's present on the town council presentation. And if we don't have quorum, we don't, we cancel the meeting. Um, and we meet as panelists at the town council. Um, unless they want, that would be okay. No, I think that was, I mean, I suggest that just in case we want to have, um, like if the student, if Joseph or Mike can come and they can speak to just students, because I think questions might come up about, because okay. some of what we're changing a lot are the students in terms of districts and precincts. Okay, and so the time that we have to present is 20 minutes, and then there's going to be comments, and there is also public comment at the meeting. Um, so I'm going to request that we are all made panelists at the at the time and the time meeting. Okay, I defer the I, I got asked during the week and I said I was deferring until this meeting to make the decision. So I'm going to send the information tomorrow. So, so are the public comments after the council comments? Is that correct? I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. And right now we are stated to go at 7 p.m. on the 18th. Okay. Um, Hopefully that's true. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> I, I think if you march everybody, we can start making noises. I don't know if they're going to let us in. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, now, we might have, we have already on the schedule a meeting for the 20th. Um, in case we get comments um, from the town meeting about if we have to make any changes. I hope not, because that means that I think town council will have to meet again. I don't know what would be the procedure if they have to vote to see things twice, they will have to meet twice. So, um, that's a comment I have, uh, but we have a meeting stated for the 20th in case we have to, uh, any case we, I think we have to meet because we need to approve minutes. So beyond the changes, I think we need to meet to make changes uh, to approve the minutes that we have from years past, from meetings past. Feels like uh, years. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, do we want to, plan for the presentation do we have if we have a working group who wants to i think the working group we could also talk i'm happy to be okay. on the working group and we can talk about the presentation and yeah peggy you will yeah, i'll be on the working okay. group. yeah me too um since okay um, i've been the liaison now um we're gonna skip um the probably the minutes if that's okay and we defer them to the 20th Good. Okay. Uh, Marilyn? Yeah, mute it. Mute it. Marilyn, I can be yeah, in the working group, but I can't do it until the weekend. 
Okay. So if you do the work before the weekend, then and then you can edit them, have a pass, and give comments. I will try. Yeah. Okay. So I I do have a question about the presentation. Is I just I know a number of the counselors look at materials for the council pa meeting packet um, over the weekend just because there's usually it gets pretty lengthy, and um, so I. Just, I had been thinking that we might want to just to give the council members a chance to look at it if they're really busy on Monday that we would want to at least share a preliminary slide deck with them on Friday. And that way it could go into their packet with with the caveat that it isn't like the final version or something. What do what do people think about that or would you prefer that we just send it on Monday? Um. I would have preferred to send it on Monday. They're gonna have the re full report to. No, I understand. To read, but I'm open to other people's comments. I think if we have a pretty good deck in place by Friday, then I'm okay to put it in the packet. If it still feels like it's we're working hashing it out, we wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Any other items that I'm missing? from, no, are we set? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, we have meeting record. Um, the longest meeting for the DAB in a way. Yeah, that's uh, true. <laughs> so we still have participants. So um, we have a public comment. If the panelists, the, if the part attendees wants to raise their hand, the hand is raised, so there was a part of the comment. She wants to comment again. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. so. Hi. It's um, fewer, you use fewer with units and less with, no, it's the other way around. Fewer with people and less with um, masses. non Non-discrete numbers, that's true. <laughs> right? So in your yes. first bullet point, you got to word change um thank, thank you very you. much it's been very informative and i appreciate your your hard work to get this done thank you all right thank you okay all right i move to adjourn second marlene yeah hey hi uh <laughs> peggy shannon hi <laughs> tracy safian hi maha gilani Hi. We are adjourned. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, 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 Mike thanks and everybody. And thanks, Mike. Oh, thanks. Right. Thank you. And if, if you want me to proof anything in the morning, let me know. I'm happy to read. Okay. okay. Peggy, after 8 30, I send you a message. Um, yeah, I can. Yes, after 8 30, I'm good. Okay. I send so, you a message. Send me a message. And, um, yeah, if, yes. I'll, we are I'll, recording. I'll make changes tonight and then we'll have something to work from. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye.